Hey guys, I'm Bennett Fitch with Noria and welcome to today's video on a modernized approach to maintenance. So what am I talking about here? Using ultrasound technology for condition-based lubrication in our machines or your machines. Now, you may be wondering, how can ultrasound technology transform lubrication practices? Well, it's all about precision. Ultrasound enables us to listen to the heartbeat of our machines and detect issues long before they become critical. It's like having a diagnostic tool that speaks the language of your equipment. But first, a big thanks to UE Systems for sponsoring this video. Now let's explore a little bit how we can cut down time and optimize lubrication using ultrasound. Proper bearing lubrication is crucial. You probably already understand that. It's all about using the right grease in the right amount, the right time, and ensuring all the effects of contaminants are as minimal as possible. Any missteps in these elements can lead to premature bearing failure. In fact, up to 80% of all premature bearing failures can be traced to improper lubrication. But before we explain how ultrasound can help us stop failures in its tracks, let's dive a little deeper into the differences between traditional time-based lubrication and a more innovative approach that involves condition-based lubrication. So traditionally, lubrication schedules were based on time intervals, like once a month or once a week or once every three months. These intervals were, were set and the lubrication was performed whether or not really the machine needed it. Um, the challenges with this approach though lies in that inflexibility. Machines often operate under varying conditions and different operating temperatures. Those fluctuations doesn't really play out well with this approach. So this one size fits all strategy can lead to moments where there's over greasing or conversely under greasing. And if you've been to any one of Noria's machinery lubrication trainings, you will be sure to remember that there are some negative impacts on both ends. In fact, these all contribute to that 80% of premature bearing failure that I mentioned earlier. Over greasing can result in excessive lubricant usage, can result in grease leakage and increased operating temperatures, and it might come to surprise to some that as a result of this higher temperature and the increase that fluid friction within because of too much grease, this can lead to an accelerated lubricant degradation and even more mechanical wear can occur. So on the other hand, undergreasing can lead to, as you might imagine, lubricant starvation. That's causing an increase in friction, heat generation, and of course, accelerated wear. All of that's a ticking time bomb for premature equipment failure. So now let's switch to a thought on the condition-based lubrication. When implementing this correctly, it's a much smarter strategy and a responsive strategy. Condition-based lubrication, it tailors the maintenance activities to the actual conditional responses of the equipment, hence the condition-based. So instead of a rigid time interval, lubrication is performed based on the real-time conditions of the machine. In the case of ultrasound, these are measuring the fluctuations of, let's say, the ultrasound waves within the bearing, maybe from friction. By adopting this strategy, you're not just reacting to an issue, you're actually proactively managing the health of your machines and ultimately leading to a more reliable and cost savings operation. So what exactly is ultrasound and how does it play a role in this proactive approach? So ultrasound measures the sound above 20 kilohertz. That's the sound beyond what we can hear. It's highly directional and allows us to detect the subtle shifts in sound indicating bearing health or its lubrication needs. Ultrasound has come a long way in, con in the condition-based lubrication. You know, early forms of this technology included ultrasound grease guns, which were, had meters to help you listen to the bearing and tell you when to stop greasing. Years later, advancements in the ultrasound led to a more seamless approach with such as the OnTrack wireless system by UE Systems. This system uses wireless sensor technology to monitor signs of friction and wear continuously. So while most condition monitoring strategies are designed to identify that point P on a PF curve or somewhere in between, but this is an indication of the failure that's beginning or in progress, hopefully early on. A wireless ultrasound system works to stop the failure from happening in the first place. So it's before that point P. So how does it work? 
Well, when increasing increases in any kind of bearing failure detected, an alert is sent to the cloud, which then can be accessed through the user's smartphone or tablet. Then just as a, from push of a button or even automatically, the system can remotely lubricate the bearing through a single point lubricator, or some might call an auto greaser. This ensures the right amount of grease is delivered at the right time. But it doesn't stop there. This newer technology, such as with the 950 BT version, can be as engineered with not just ultrasound, that's what the first important approach is, but also enriching it with vibration and temperature capabilities as well. So this is a powerful tool to ultrasonically hear your bearings at any time, anywhere, and even act automatically. You know, just recently, I was visiting a Pfizer facility and they were just implementing the OnTrack system to address two big issues they were dealing with related to failure, grease being mixed and overgreasing. In addition to that, it helped their team save time that would normally have been spent greasing bearings, often inefficiently, and now can be used to focus that time on other important maintenance activities in their facility. In another case example, this is at Arch Resources, they encountered issues of premature wear and unplanned downtime associated to improper lubrication practices on their bearings. So upon their investigation, they were able to pinpoint that overgreasing was the primary factor contributing to that bearing failure. And in response to this identified challenge, they implemented the OnTrack system and even used UE Insights for the continuous monitoring of the bearing health and precise real-time lubrication that they could act upon. They reported a substantial reduction in grease consumption. In fact, they decreased over from 1,500 grams monthly to less than one gram a month. This is more than a 99% reduction in grease usage. So this shows that the implementation of an on-track system-wide with insights from UE not only resulted in these impressive metrics, but also brought about increased reliability in their conveyor operations. It reduced their maintenance costs overall and all the substantial cost savings that are important related to how much grease they're using, how often they're doing it, or mitigating any unnecessary repairs. The importance of a condition-based lubrication approach cannot be overstated. By continuously monitoring your bearings, we can stop bearing failures before they even start. This saves time and money all along the way. This combined with proper grease selection and contamination control, this is at the essence of what proactive maintenance is all about. So if you're in a state where you're ready to try to find ways to cut down time and optimize your lubrication practices, just let us know at Noria. We can help you reach those reliability objectives. And if you're interested in OnTrack system, you know, please reach out to UE Systems for more information. We have some links in the description below. And thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next video.